The problem with Gmail is that it's just a long list of emails, just like any other email client. And the workspace isn't very practical. So thanks to a Google Chrome extension called Drag, you'll be able to organize your emails into columns, add tasks, notes, and also add due dates, all within one space, your Gmail. This will increase your productivity and help you manage your emails a lot better. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to download the extension and also show you some of the basic features. Hi, it's Sam here from Teacher Sam, the channel that helps make your teaching life that little bit easier. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit that like. The first thing we do is search for drag email, then click on the uh, drag app website. So here we're going to try drag for free. Before we do, I'm gonna show you the pricing plans as when we try it for free, we'll get access to the team plan. Now the team plan, we get 14 days free trial of team plan. The team plan is if you wanna collaborate with a team. But in this video, I'm gonna focus on the free plan as it still allows me to manage my emails a lot better than if I just use Gmail. So with the free plan, I can still be very productive. It allows me to have three columns. So this allows me to drag my emails into columns. It also allows me to add notes to my emails. Also uh, checklists, due dates, and also color code my emails. So the free plan is great for me as it still helps me to manage my emails. Um, okay, so I'm going to um, try this for free. So click try for free. Add the extension to Chrome, add extension. If it's the first time downloading the extension, this icon will probably not be here. You have to press the jigsaw. This is where you can pin and unpin your extension. So it probably might look something like this. You're gonna to have to click here and then pin your extension to your browser. Okay, so now let's just open up Gmail. Again, if it's, if it's the first time downloading the extension, you might have to um, sign in with your Gmail. So as you can see, this is drag. I can drag my emails into the columns available. Uh, this column here is called to do. You can change the name of the column if you wish. I like naming them to do, doing and done. Um, the column where I have to deal with my emails, uh, the column that I'm dealing with and the column that uh, I have finished and done and need to uh, archive or delete. So you interact with an email just like you do as any other normal email. Um, here you can quickly archive, delete, um, you can mark as unread or you can check it and then you can also use these functions here. The red functions um, are the drag functions. Uh, I can change the color if I want to from here. I can add a due date, add tags, or I can send this email to another board. I have a board here already called urgent. Um, you can add another board if you wish, but in the free version, you're only allowed to have one. Let me delete this um, board so I can show you how to do it. So you click on the plus sign, give it a name, urgent for my urgent emails. I do not need to invite a team member, so skip this step. There you go. This is my urgent board. Urgent board has, again, three more columns, which is great. Go back to inbox. So for example, okay, I know this one is an urgent. I can click here, add to board, urgent, and add it to my doing list, for example. There we go. Let's check that, go to urgent, and there it is. Excellent. 
So I have this email here and I can open it up like any other Gmail. I open it up, which is great. And now I can quickly add a task or a note to this email, or I can quickly add a due date. So let's add a task. For example, this is PayPal. So maybe a uh, change account, click enter. That's added in a, a task here. You can add as many tasks as you like. You can also edit them or delete them. Add a note here. Speak to Tom. Okay, speak to Tom. Uh, and there you go. Let's add a due date. I've got to do this by tomorrow. Excellent. So I finished with the email and I've dealt with the email and I'm happy with that. Now I can send this now to a uh, my board and doing as I'm dealing with that. There you go. Now that is here. As you can see, I can now I can see my uh, I have a task and I also have a due date and I also have uh, an attachment. The arrow key will allow you to view what task it is. Change account. Okay, so let's think, okay, I've done that. Excellent, perfect. Dealt with that, put it in done. I'll check it later and then delete it. But I've done, I've done this task, happy with that, and I can archive that or delete it later. Excellent. So I've come back and let's just get rid of that. Let's just delete it. Excellent. And I've got one email left in my inbox. Uh, and these are the basic features of Drag. Uh, just the basic features have enabled me to work better with emails. I'm more productive. I can get through my emails quicker than uh, normal Gmail. You can go back to normal Gmail by clicking the switch here. This will go back to your normal inbox, like here. And if you do check this, you can deal with, there are some functions for Drag here. You can uh, tag it, send to board, and you've got these here, add a star and so forth. So you can still deal with it here. I like to use drag like this, there you go. Well, I hope this video has been useful for you. I do recommend this um, extension if you wanna manage your emails a lot better. If you wanna see more videos like this, please uh, give this video a like and please subscribe and thank you for watching.